Reserve Bank today decided to ease monetary policy by 25 basis points, taking the cash rate to 2.5%. Reserve Bank continues to see growth as being subdued. Inflation pressures are very much benign at the moment, so if they want to ease monetary policy further going forward, they certainly can. Key things to keep an eye on going forward, we'll keep an eye on the uh, NAP business survey that comes out in the next week or so. It's been very weak recently despite the fall in the Aussie dollar. So if we have a look at the forward com looking components through that survey, forward orders, capacity utilisation and the like, it does paint a picture that the Australian economy really is struggling to grow despite aggressive monetary policy easing to date. We also get second quarter growth data out in early September. That's actually after the next uh, Reserve Bank meeting. So continue to think that uh, we're in wait and see mode. Um, in the nearer term, we get the statement on monetary policy out this Friday, which will provide a clear understanding of what the Reserve Bank's thinking at the moment. But despite aggressive easing to date, business lending in particular has been very subdued. Interest rates are obviously low. We have seen some sort of rise, particularly through the housing sector. But outside of that, growth does remain very sluggish. The Reserve Bank would love to see the Australian dollar lower at the moment to assist sectors such as tourism and the like, but we're not actually seeing that. Um, some market participants are actually looking for a more dovish uh, comment from the Reserve Bank today, which would uh, indicate either 50 basis points of easing today or a follow-up cut. Certainly nothing to suggest that from what we saw from the Reserve Bank. And with that in mind, the, the Australian dollar has actually risen off the back of the decision today, which is not what the Reserve Bank would have wanted to see. We continue to expect uh, further monetary policy easing from the Reserve Bank. Um, trading partner growth is definitely starting to uh, decline, not getting that external sort of stimulus that we'd hoped. So rounding it all up, um, economic growth subdued domestically, foreign environment probably not assisting as much in the Australian dollar providing a headwind continue to think further monetary policy easing would be required.